As young witches and wizards, we all dream about soaring through the sky like our favorite heroes. When it comes to Quidditch, we've all wondered, do I have what it takes to be the next Quidditch star? To beat my toughest opponents? To keep my composure when it matters most? To chase my dreams at any price? To seek glory for my team? Because someday, that dream could become a reality. And the road won't always be easy. But if you just keep getting back on your broom, and trust in your teammates, Quidditch is magic. So ask yourself again, do you have what it takes? Do you have the heart of a Quidditch champion? Every Quidditch champion's journey has to start somewhere. And for many, that's in our own backyard. In our minds, the garden is a grand Quidditch pitch, and wind blowing in the trees is a roaring crowd. Can you picture yourself playing among your heroes? Welcome to our backyard Quidditch pitch. Before you take flight, let's make sure you're comfortable on your broom. Rest comfortably in the saddle and double check your grip position. When you think up, the broom should do exactly what you want. If flying doesn't feel natural, Try some adjustments. There are a lot of threats on the Quidditch field. Mastering your evasive flying will keep you out of harm's way. You can really push your broom for an extra boost of speed, but it won't last forever. You'll eventually need to ease off and recover. I think you're ready for something a little more advanced. Drifting will let you fly in one direction while looking in another. I use it all the time when lining up a shot on the goals. Not bad. Looks like you're getting the hang of it. Definitely better than Neville's first time on a broom from what I heard. Here's a quick challenge to really see what you can do. There's no rush to move on until you're comfortable. How are you feeling on that broom? Brilliant. Then let's brush up on Quidditch, shall we? It's really not all that complicated once you know all the positions. Each team has three chasers. They're the heart of the Quidditch team, if I do say so myself. That ball is called the Quaffle, and the chaser's job is to, well, chase it. When the other team has the Quaffle, our chasers need to get it back at all costs and bring it towards the opponent's goal. And working as one, 
throwing the quaffles through any opposing goal scores our team points and brings us that much closer to victory. Quidditch is fast paced and you'll often need to change your approach quickly. Sometimes a change in perspective is all you need. As a chaser, your main concern is the quaffle. Have a look for it now. Quidditch is first and foremost a team game. When you find yourself in an advantageous position, let your team know by calling for a pass. Now that you've got the quaffle, don't forget about the rest of your team. Individual talent will only get you so far. As a chaser, your main focus is to score points for your team. The more you score, the closer you get to winning. Get those points by throwing the quaffle through the red goalposts. Always be on the hunt for the quaffle. If an opposing chaser has possession, that can easily be resolved with a swift tackle. Impressive work so far. You've proven you can score on an empty goal, but they won't always be undefended. Let's see if you can slip one past a keeper. That about does it for the chasers. Are you feeling ready? I was hoping you would say that. Let's go chasers only for this first match. This is the Weasley Twins, your favourite pranksters and Quidditch players. Let's hope this match turns out better than the last time we played Quidditch. Speak for yourself, I had a great time, but then again, I am the better athlete. The Quaffle's up! No one's hogging the Quaffle on this team. There's the pass. There goes the sh and the Quaffle is in! Chaser passes. That's a pass to a teammate. What a great pass. Chaser lines up the shot. Goal! Possession. Great pass. Always good to see a team passing the quaffle around. The quaffle so Incredible shot. The shot. And it's in! Either that's the final whistle, or Mom's found the flubber worm in the toilet. What a match.
after all. I honestly didn't think we'd win the very first match, but it was well earned. Shall we challenge them to a rematch? Or are you ready to learn more about Quidditch? All right, the lesson continues. The Keeper adds a lot of depth to the game. So let's add one now. Oh, and I think my brother Ron will be the best person to fly you through this role. Have fun. <laughs> Quidditch would be rubbish without the keeper guarding the goals. A good defence can make all the difference in a match. Your team's keeper has one very important job. Stop that quaffle from going through any of your goals. Being a good keeper requires the tactical mind to predict where the quaffle will be shot and the agility to stop it. With their vantage point, a keen keeper inspire and guide their chases as well. It may sound like a lot of responsibility, but nothing beats the feeling of single-handedly saving a goal. Chasers can play a decent defense, but to properly guard the goals requires a keeper. Keepers have their own way of moving, more like a hummingbird than a hippogriff. Give it a try. Diving is an important skill for a keeper to learn. It lets you move quickly and accurately between the goal rings. As a keeper, it's important to know where the quaffle is at all times. Don't forget to keep focus on it when you need to. The keeper's job is simple in theory. Stop the other team from scoring goals. It's trickier in practice. Chasers will try and trick you, so keep a close eye on them and be ready to move. Your team depends on you thinking on your feet. Um, broomstick, in this case. Don't doze off back there. You've still got a team to help. From here, you've got the best view of the happenings on the field. Show us your leadership skills and give your team some guidance. Now let's take a look at your play calling from the chaser's point of view. Flying through auras will give you a speed and energy boost. The keeper's kick is an indispensable tool. You can use it to deflect quaffles and bludgers, or you can even give other players a good whack to drive them away. Let's give it a go. Try and save this next shot on goal by deflecting it with a big kick. That's about all you need to know as a keeper. Are you ready to play a match with proper defence? Brilliant. With the keepers added to the game... This is the Weasley Twins, your favourite... It's another spectacular day for Quidditch. Here comes the bludgers. Chaser lines up the shot. Goal!
What a great pass. There's the shot. Go! Sorry, Chaser. It happens to the best of us. There goes the shot. My save. This chaser is not afraid of close contact. Can anyone see where the snitch went? Some and the quaffle is in. That's the end of the match. Perfect timing, too. I think the gnomes are back again. What a match! Match. Offense and defense are both crucial on the Quidditch pitch. Now, shall we move to the next lesson, or are you itching for a rematch? Brilliant. I know Fred has been giddy to go over this bit. Or was that George? Ah, beaters. You either love them or hate them, depending on which side of the bludger you're on. What are bludgers? They're iron balls that are fast, aggressive, and enchanted to knock players off their brooms. A beater's job is to use a bat to drive those nasty buggers away from your team. Or theirs. What could be better than seeing your opponent set up a perfect play and totally ruining their plans? The chaser isn't equipped to deal with bludgers. For that, you're as a beater. Your main focus should be on supporting your teammates by disrupting your opponents. And that all starts with a bludger. Drifting isn't just a chaser trick. Beaters, Beaters can, can do, do the same, same. often to devastating effect. Quidditch is an incredibly physical game. Every hit will knock you off balance. Take too many hits and you'll be tumbling off your broom. When all else fails, you can just pretend you are the bludger and tackle your opponents. That usually does the trick. All right, let's put all this practice into play. Hit that player with a well-placed bludger. Don't worry about hurting them. They volunteered for this. Well, they were voluntold to do this, but I'm sure they'll be fine. Okay, 
Let's knock them off their broom. Same as last time. Send a bludger their way while they're still off balance. Maybe we should worry about hurting them. Just a little bit, at least. Spectacular! Fred and George would be proud. Now take what you've learned and master it. Knock everyone on the field off their broom. Now that you understand what a beta does, then let's play a match with... Welcome back to the pitch. Get comfortable, but don't forget to duck. Here comes the bludgers. Chaser fumbles. There goes the shot. Talk about a crash course in Quidditch. What a great pass! The quaffle is knocked loose! There's the shot! But this shot's no good! There's a knockout by the beater! Nothing's getting past these goalposts! towards the goal. The keeper blocks the goal without breaking a sweat. What a great pass. There goes the shot. Incredible shot. today. The quaffle is loose. Who will be the first to find a snitch? The chaser lines up. What a shot! This target is down for the count. Always good to see a team passing the quaffle around. No one's hogging the quaffle on this team. This chaser is not afraid of close contact. The bludgeon knocks the quaffle out of the player's hands. There goes the shot. The home team saves it. <laughs> You've got to love this sport. Rotten luck for that chaser, though. Quaffle sauce. And that's a goal! That's 
the end of the match. Perfect timing, too. I think the gnomes are back again. Great game. Nothing like dodging blood just to get your adrenaline going. How did you fare? No broken bones or brooms, right? Should we play another match before we bring the snitch in? Then that means we're ready to learn the last piece of the Quidditch puzzle. The Seekers and the Golden Snitch. I'm not a bad Seeker myself, but I wasn't the youngest Seeker in a century, so... Nobody knows the Seeker. Their job is to find and catch the elusive Golden Snitch to score big for their team. Easier said than done, as it's the size of a walnut. I suppose they don't call it seeking for nothing. But aside from sharp eyes, you better have sharp reflexes too. Because once you find the snitch, you'll also need to chase it and grab it before the opposing seeker does. If you can stay close to the snitch, anticipate its movements, and dodge a bludger or two, you can actually hold victory in your hands. Hold back. This is the Weasley Twins, your favorite pranksters. And we're back for another exhilarating game of Quidditch. We can hardly sit still. Here comes the bludgers. No one's hogging the bottle on this team. There goes the shot. What a shot! Visitors steal possession. The quaffle is knocked loose. There's a pass. The white team steals possession. Great pass. Chase the passes. The chaser lines up the shot and great pass. There goes the shot. And it scores through the goal. There's the shot, the chaser scores! There's the snitch, but who'll be the first to catch him? He stole the quaffle! The, the quaffle is loose! Not afraid of close contact. The home 
team steals possession. That's a fumble. The match has reached the halfway mark. There goes the shot. Nice save. What a great pass. The snitch has been caught. Yeah, the salamander we lost in the house, on the other hand. Can a hero save us from this lull and score? Chaser lines up the shot and... What a save! Nothing's getting past that keeper. What a great pass! The ball was stolen! That chaser's not playing around. Keeper stops the quaffle. No one's hogging the quaffle on this team. Great pass. Eyes to the sky, seekers. The snitch is loose. The snitch is revealed! There goes the shot! No! Keep moving it downfield. The Seekers. The beater knocks their victim right off the broom. Great pass. No one's hogging the quaffle on this team. That snitch is so... Time's running out with one minute remaining. There's the shot. Well done, Chaser. Harder to watch than Percy's attempts at flirting. Only 30 seconds left. Well, for his pass. But the Weasley team intercepts it. That's the snitch. The Seeker's done it. Can the chaser break the tie? The home team saves it. Tie-breaking goal. The visitors save it. There's the snitch, but who will be the first to catch it? What a great pass! The chaser shoots for the win. Nothing's getting past these goalposts. That's a tie-breaking shot. What a save. Nothing's, Nothing's getting, getting past, past that keeper. keeper. The winner is anyone's guess. Almost there, Seeker. Keep it up. The quaffle is past. Almost there, Seeker. Keep it. The seek that's a tie-breaking. The keeper stops the quaffle. Yes. 
keep moving it downfield. Always good to see a team passing the corporal around. There goes the and it's in. That's the end of the match. Perfect timing, too. I think the gnomes are back again. <laughs> this was fun, but, but we, we have, have to run. run. Time is galleons, after all.